All right, it is a one-two punch hot off the heels of Jack Layton's talk about a coalition Monday. Liberal leader Michael Ignatieff bringing it up again in yet again another CBC interview Tuesday. Liberal candidate Bob Ray also giving his take here on Sun News Network's Daily Brief with David Aiken. Here's what he had to say. I don't know what the big fuss is, frankly. I mean, we, we have a constitution, and, and Mr. Harper sometimes seems to forget that. Uh, and the constitution of Canada is very clear. The, the prime minister of the country has to have the confidence of the House of Commons. And if mm -hmm. within a very short time of a, forming a government, he loses the, the, the confidence of the House of Commons, the governor general may ask somebody else. All right, for more on this, I'm pleased to be joined by Conservative candidate for Nepean Carlton, Pierre Apoilyev. So, Pierre, uh, I've heard a lot today that uh, what Mr. Ignatiev said last night is nothing new. We've heard this before, and he's not actually saying coalition. He's just saying, listen, we're open to the possibility, and it's within the rules. Well, he might have changed the name, but the effect is exactly the same. Uh, he would be uh, taking power after losing an election and doing so by giving a veto power to the Bloc Québécois uh, and the NDP. Uh, I think that is more or less the definition of a coalition. Uh, I think as well what he's proposing is Gilles Duceppe's dream come true. Uh, never before in Canadian history would the Bloc Québécois have been so powerful as it would be under the scenario that Michael Ignatieff is now describing. Imagine this. Michael Ignatieff loses the election and is rejected by the Canadian people, but then goes to Gilles Duceppe and tells Mr. Duceppe that he will pr provide the Bloc Québécois with anything it wants to, to support him in his role as Prime Minister. That would be, uh, I think, uh, very uh, reckless for our economy, for the stability of our country, uh, and it, uh, it's evident that it's precisely what Gilles Duceppe and the Bloc Québécois have been looking for and calling for for many years now. Well, and you know, Mr. Harper has for the past couple of days uh, been pointing to something that happened over the weekend uh, in Quebec. There was a leadership review of the Parti Québécois and uh, Pauline Marois definitely giving the thumbs up and Mr. Duceppe, say, you know, applauding that. Uh, and Mr. Harper is saying, look, th this, you know, this is your reminder of what the Bloc Québécois is all about. It is about sovereignty. And the best way for us to, to counter that is to have a strong majority government. That's right. Well, Gilles Duceppe said himself that the, uh, the best thing for the sovereigntist cause and for the Bloc Québécois would be to stop the Conservatives from getting a majority. Uh, and uh, quite frankly, he's right about that. And that's why uh, he would be, you know, the, one of the reasons why he is so excited about keeping the Conservatives to a minority is because he would be able to work with Michael Ignatieff and the NDP to form what effectively is a coalition by another name to take power uh, and uh, exercise maximum influence for the Bloc Québécois in the government of Canada it would be unprecedented uh, and I think it would be reckless for our country and, uh, and for our economy. Okay, but Pierre, I do have to say to you, though, I mean, what Mr. Mr. Ignatiev, the question was put to him, it is, uh, it is something that's within the rules. You know, there's, some people would say there was kind of no other way to answer that question. He's saying, yes, he's open to it. Some critics are even saying that what Mr. Ignatiev said last night is no different than what uh, Stephen Harper said in last week's debate when Gilles Duceppe accused him of wanting to form a coalition when he was in opposition. And some people are saying that Stephen Harper defended himself by saying the same thing Ignatiev said last night. Is that a fair criticism? No, I don't think so. In fact, uh, Mr. <laughs> Duceppe uh, has changed his recollection of what happened in 2004. In 2004, when we were all in opposition, Mr. Duceppe and Mr. Layton both said that they were not entertaining a coalition uh, with the Conservatives. Uh, and now they've changed their mind, but they've done that exclusively to justify uh, the, the next coalition that they want to form with the Liberal Party. Uh, and it is, uh, just to reiterate, uh, Gilles Duceppe would have an incredible amount of authority over Michael Ignatieff under the scenario that the Liberal leader described on uh, CBC News with uh, Peter Mansbridge the other night. And I think Canadians across the country should start asking the, the question, uh, what kind of concessions is Mr. Ignatieff prepared to make, or has he already committed to making, to the Bloc Québécois in order to garner their support 
for the kind of coalition that he described on CBC the other night. Because Canadians should know what concessions he's prepared to make to the Bloc Québécois before we vote in the election so that folks can judge whether or not they're prepared to support that kind of coalition arrangement. I suspect Canadians will reject it, but the only way to stop it from happening is through a strong, stable, national majority Conservative government. All right, I want to uh, play one more clip from Bob Ray yesterday. As we saw, he was on the Daily Brief with uh, David Aiken here on Sun News Network. He went on to say something very interesting that uh, a lot of Canadians probably don't even think about. I want you to have a listen to this. We do have a constitution, and I am troubled constantly by hearing people talk about winning an election. Of course, you know, people get the most seats. The House of Commons is formed. We go back to Ottawa, and then we, and then the, we see. The House of Commons chooses the Prime Minister. That's the way our system works. Uh, Pierre, I think a lot of Canadians might be a bit taken aback when they first hear that, that uh, the House of Commons chooses the Prime Minister, but he's right. Well, I think Canadians should choose the Prime Minister. Uh, and uh, the, uh, Prime Minister Harper uh, is seeking a mandate from the Canadian people. We'll respect the outcome. But Michael Ignatieff is now proposing that even if he loses the election, uh, he will go to the Bloc Québécois and NDP make concessions to them in order to have their support to make him the Prime Minister, even after he's been rejected by the Canadian people. Uh, so I think what he should do in the spirit of transparency, he said he wants to run an open operation here, is just tell us which concessions he's prepared to make to Gilles Duceppe and the Bloc Québécois in order to garner uh, their support to make him Prime Minister uh, in the scenario that he described uh, on uh, CBC the other night. Let's be open here. The reality is that the Bloc Québécois is going to make a lot of demands that are counter to the interest of, the, of, of our country uh, and our economy. Uh, and uh, Mr. Ignatieff would have to give in to those demands if he were to get their support for a coalition-style takeover of government. So the only way to avoid all of that uncertainty is to elect a strong national conservative majority led by Stephen Harper. All right, Pierre Polyev, conservative candidate for Nepean Carlton, thanks for your time today. Thank you.